Joining us is Bill Wake, a 15 plus year veteran of Agile and development management and a major contributor and thought leader in the space. Thanks for joining us, Bill. Thanks, Alex. Let's talk about estimation. Are you a no estimates guy or a planning poker shark? What, what are your views on the puts and takes and, and kind of triggers for when estimation and how estimation makes sense for a team? Yeah, I'd probably say I'm closer to no estimates in a lot of ways than, than getting too focused on the estimates. Um, um, I'm kind of known for the invest model and the E there is for estimable, meaning we can estimate it. Um, but I see a lot of teams that get very focused on the estimate part and and not so focused on other things I think matter a lot more. So um, I, I kind of uh, want to hold the estimates pretty loosely and not get too tied up in it. I think in real life, what I see with, with stories and understanding, our understanding has a lot more variance than, than the estimates do. And then a lot of times estimates kind of get in these weird um, uh, games, I guess is the right phrase for it, that uh, they're, they're, we're playing a game about estimates and values and we're not really, we're not really trying to measure something in software. And uh, you know, if the game is, I only have three months for you to do this, and the reality is it's gonna take you six, um, you know, beating you down to say three months so I can <laughs> check the box and say we're going to make it, it, it doesn't really help anybody, um, at least as far as getting better at estimates. <laughs> and what do you think, I mean, one of the things that we, we talk about sometimes as being a, or, or a job that has to be done somehow, estimates or otherwise, is, is prioritization. So understanding the you know, how much value I ascribe to a story versus like how long, you know, I thought this was a quick thing, but what do I know? I'm not implementing it. How, how do you see doing that job if, if not with estimates? Is there, are there other approaches that work better? Well, the, the, the primary one I like is that we can, we can spend a lot, of, um, a lot of effort to split things down so that we can try and divide out what, what are the most important things to get out of this and what are less important things. And, uh, you know, if we can if we can set up a, a delivery cycle where things come out all the time, and we can quickly find out those most important things for the various stories, get those together, get them delivered, and and move from there. Um, early on, we've got a picture of how fast things are coming through and what whether they're valuable or not. Um, and then from there on, it's just kind of extending with whichever whichever next piece makes the most sense. Um, you know, I, I like that quick cycle, and then I can think in terms of um, not so much estimating as measuring and saying, you know, if I put the requirement in today, it, it comes out on average three days later. Well, I can I can plan with that at that point, and uh, you know, my my estimates aren't so much forward looking; they're they're looking backward, but they're looking in the context of um, you know what we've really been doing with things. So those are some great ideas about how to deal with the, the job of prioritization and using estimates versus not using estimates, how to be effective. Very practical advice. Thanks, Bill.